Welcome back. We want to turn our attention now to a case out of the state of Georgia, where a young couple is suing a hospital after their baby's horrific death during childbirth. We want to warn you, the allegations here are a bit disturbing. To say the least, a civil complaint was filed against Southern Regional Medical Center. And in the complaint, it says that the hospital tried to conceal how this couple's full-term baby died. According to the complaint, the infant was decapitated during a botched delivery. The suit also claims that the hospital staff wouldn't allow the mother or father to hold the child after his death because hospital workers had wrapped the baby's body in a blanket to conceal how he died. The hospital is denying the allegations made in the suit. The parents are asking for a jury trial in this case. Let's bring in the attorney representing the parents, Jessica Ross and Travion Taylor, Corey Lynch, is the attorney is with us live. And Corey, the, if people haven't heard about this case, baby dies during delivery. Correct. It's um, a horrible scenario. Afterwards, the parents, of course, they want to see, hold their baby boy. Correct. Not allowed to. Um, they were allowed eventually, apparently, to view the child but not hold. And they, and this is hard to fathom, but according to the complaints and, and um, what you know about the case, the hospital staff wrapped the baby's body and then also took the head of the baby and propped it up propped it up, um, wrapped the baby up tight, placed the head on top so that um, they could not see the injuries or that the baby was decapitated. Um, and they would not let them hold the child. Uh, they had to view the child through, um, through a glass. Um, and How did they find out that, the, that their son was decapitated during delivery? They found out on July 13th. Um, and this happened they, on the 9th? Correct. They received, well, it happened on the 9th uh, to the, the morning 10th. of the 10th. Um, and they found out on the 13th when uh, the baby got to the funeral home, uh, the funeral home, uh, Willie Watkins um, alerted the authorities, called the uh, Clayton County Medical Examiner's Office and the Clayton County Police Department, as well as calling the family uh, based on the condition of the body just to let them know, hey, you know, were you aware of this? And they were not. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it, it's, it's just very unfortunate that they had to find out that matter. How did the child die from what you know? I, I really can't get into to, to that um, simply because uh, the medical information and uh, there is a ongoing investigation with um, uh, the Clayton County Medical Examiners, the GBI and Clayton County Police Department. The, um, the hospital, um is has released a statement um, right. on this, and um, it uh, it says in part our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with the family and uh, those impacted by this tragic event. Our prayers also remain with the dedicated team of physicians, nurses, and staff at Southern Regional Medical Center who cared for this patient. While our sympathies uh, go out to the family, Southern Regional Medical Center denies the allegations in the complaint referencing the hospital. Um, and, and you could feel, I mean, if you were a, sta a staff member or you were working on this case, it would be horrific, Correct. one would think, that, um, that they've lost a child in, in, in this manner. But there seemed to have been a, a cover-up. They even encouraged the family to cremate the child, correct? Correct, correct. So immediately after, um, they, the family was told that the baby did not make it. Um, but they were encouraged to cremate the baby and they were also told that they were not entitled to an autopsy in this uh, in this type of situation and that if they wanted an autopsy that they would have to pay for it themselves when in actuality that this is the exact type of situation where a autopsy would have been performed had they called had the Southern Regional Medical Center called the um, Clayton County Medical Examiner's Office uh, autopsy would have been done and an in, in investigation is, um, as you mentioned, the, the GBI, which is the Georgia, Georgia Bureau of Investigations, um, uh, is involved here. Is there any scenario where you would think there would be some sort of criminal liability here, or are we just talking civil? No, they are looking into criminal charges. Um, f that the failure to report is a, um, a charge that they are looking at, um, but I don't want to get into 
to the weeds of that and let them do what they need to do as far as their investigations. The concerned. hospital did not report this incident? This all came from? Correct. This came from the funeral home. Mortuary. Yeah. Wow. After Correct. delivering um, and seeing the condition of the child. Correct. How are the parents? It's touch and go. It's rough. They, they are very young, um, but they are resilient. Um, they are um, focused on getting justice for um, the loss of their, their son. Um, they are very emotional. Um, this is a, you know, it's, it's just bad. There's a lot of crying, but there's also a lot of hope um, and um, to get justice. First child? Correct, this was their first child. Obviously they were waiting and, and, it, and healthy, went to full term? The full term, 37 weeks, um, healthy. Um, water breaks were going water breaks in. Water were going in. Uh, you know, everything seems to be going according um, normal in, in a normal pregnancy and delivery. One yeah. of the things the hospital has pointed out is that the physician that the obstetrician that delivered the baby um, was not a full time employee. It's Dr. Tracy uh, St. Julian. Uh, uh, now she's the OB. 20 years in practice, um, does that matter? She's not a full-time, if she's a doctor that has privileges at a hospital. It, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Why do you think they put that in the, uh, they're, just, they're, they're They're trying to distance themselves from this, this whole ordeal. Mm -hmm. um, they even came out and said that, hey, we in fact did report, um, but the medical examiner refuted that statement by saying, hey, no, I found out, we found out from the funeral home. The, the hospital also said in, in their statement that the baby died in utero and uh, the attempts to get the baby out of the birth canal, um, they used drastic, basically, the, you know, let's be uh, clear, this was not um, anybody's, you know, nobody wanted this scenario, right? The, the, the child is having difficulties coming through the birth canal. Things were done to try to alleviate that situation. Is the issue that you and the family have the the way that that was done a or the the alleged cover-up uh, b or both a and b all of the above all of the above um, there were certain things that they could have done that they did not do um, and we'll let the you know let those things come out in the facts once we do um, our depositions yeah and, you know malpractice and criminal liability two different things but both seem to be on the table in this case yeah. Um, all right. Uh, Corey, thanks for coming in. And our um, thoughts to that family uh, going through, as you said, a horrible time, losing a child, and then to lose uh, their first child in a way like this, uh, I can't imagine um, what they're going through. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you.